remember, the goal here is to keep only the information related to the past three months. In this case, we are working with months and we are working with time. So for this particular situation, we can uh, use functions related to time. There are a lot of features here hidden. Before that, I need to change this column and tell Power Query that this is a date, okay? So date, right click and date, uh, click in that button there that indicates the data type and choose date. Since we only have the year and the month indicated in text, Power Query assigns day one to all the, all the rows. So where we had 2020 September, since now we asked for a date, Power Query considers the day one of September. So now we can come here and use date filters and say, uh, we want to filter our data in that column, picking up only the data that is in the previous dot, dot, dot. And now we get quite a nice selection of options here. So we can say in the previous and now say how many, three, and then choose in between days, months, years, quarters, hours, etc. Isn't that cool? So we can say I want any rows that have data from the past three months, in the previous three months. Okay. So we are now currently, while recording, we are in February 12 of 2021. So we want to get data from November, December, and January. Those would be the three previous months, right? 